you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about my math pick for the homeschool year 2022-2023. Now today's video is a part of this collaboration that we're actually doing over a couple of weeks where we're sharing our homeschool curriculum choices for the next school year. So last week we showed family subjects, this week we're doing math. They're gonna have one where they share language arts, we're gonna share electives, all those great things. So you wanna make sure that you hit subscribe to at least one of our channels so you do not miss this collaboration. This collaboration is hosted by Daveen over at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna over at Homegrown Homeschool. So make sure you check out their channels, make sure you check out the playlist, and you can go back and watch our past videos. That way, if you're in need of some ideas for next school year, you will find them here because I think we're all using different things. So today, like I said, we're going to talk about our math pick for this next school year. If you're new, I'm a homeschool to one, like I said. My son is 13, he will be 14 in September, but he would be an eighth grader if he went to public school. So we're at the very end of like those middle school years and it is, it's sad, but it's exciting all at the same time. Little bit about our math journey. We came from public school because I was a teacher. My child attended the school that I taught at and I feel kind of bad for him and kind of his age group in general, because in kindergarten, when he was in my classroom, as a kindergarten, we kind of did our own thing. Uh, we didn't really have a set curriculum. Then when he got into first grade, our school district adopted Common Core and we started using Engage New York. So he had missed all the kindergarten, like the base level of Common Core and was thrown straight into it in first grade. So he struggled. He struggled in first and second grade. Then we moved him out of the public school to a private school that didn't do Common Core. So it was a little bit better. But when I got him home, he was very discouraged when it came to math. He wasn't very confident. He thought he was awful at it. And so I had a lot to do to, to get him confident in math. So our first two years, we used math lessons for a living education. And while that's a fine program and works for so many people, to me, there just wasn't enough of an explanation. It, it felt like it was a blurb and then go do your problems. And so we, were, we wanted to try something else. So we tried teaching textbooks, which everybody on the internet loves. And I don't, you know, there's no problem with it to me. I think it's fine. But my son was totally bored with it. We also did it the year that they came out with the app. And so it was their trial, like they're, they were just getting started with it. And so some days it would work and some days it wouldn't. So there was no consistency in our math and it was frustrating. And he finally got to the point where he was like, I just want paper and pencil math. And so because we were already so far into teaching textbooks, I just ordered teaching textbooks like the book and we finished out the year with that. But I knew that this year we had to do something different. And so through a lot of research, and I could not find a lot on YouTube, there's just not a lot about this curriculum on YouTube, through research, like through Google, I was able to find what we're using. So we actually started using Learn Math Fast. We, I found this, I think it was around October or November, so we hadn't used it the whole year. But we started using it, and I'm not going to sit here and say that he loves math now because that would be a story. This is the first math that we don't have tears every day. It's the first math that he can tolerate. He will actually sit down and engage in the lesson and do the work, and that's a success for me. So let me tell you a little bit about Learn Math Fast. So first off, this is a math course that's written by a homeschool mom. This is the math she used to teach her son. And I think that's amazing. You can read all about it. They have a Learn Math Fast website and you can read all about that. So you can actually purchase them from that website, but they're also on Amazon. So that's where I buy them from. And I'll just link them below if you wanna go and check them out from there. But that's where I always order ours. So um, let me just tell you a little bit about it. I'm gonna try to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so if you're looking for math that is just no muss, no fuss, no busy work, no fluff, then this is good for you. Now, if you like good and beautiful pictures, which I love, if you like those kind of things, then you're going to be bored to death with this because there are no pictures. Um, mine is like pictures of pennies and things like that. And I'm going to show you the inside of it. There's no busy work. It is very much, here's the lesson, here's the work to practice it, and you move on with your life. So, 
if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for something for a child who's not crazy about math, this might be your answer. This might be it. So, Learn Math Fast has seven volumes, and it even tells you at the beginning, um, there's a whole little write-up about it, and I just have this covered, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But it talks about what Learn Math Fast is, and that it can be used by anyone who can already count to 100, can read and write numbers, and has a basic understanding of the base 10 system, um, and knows that one plus two equals three. So. There's a bunch of different ways you can use it, and it, it explains it to you. If your kids are six to eight, if you have older struggling students, or if you have, let me see what this one says, high school age or older and struggling to graduate. And then there's also a fast track where you could complete the whole system in less than a year. Because she goes to explain that it does not take 12 years to learn math. Okay? So... You need to read this. There's a placement test that you can take to see where to put your kids. But I went ahead and just started with volume one because like I was explaining to my son yesterday, math builds upon itself. If you don't get that solid foundation, then it's gonna crumble because you are not gonna understand the stuff up here if you don't get this these things at the bottom. So that's, that's why we started. And so this book was very easy for him, but it also solidified some of those math facts that he was still using his fingers to count. Um, it solidified those things. Um, also, when we got into some of the books, I learned some really neat tricks that I didn't know about math myself, like to do with measurement and things like that. And so I've even learned some things by going through this with him. Now you could very well just hand this over to your child if they're older and they could read and do it, but my son likes to have me there and I like to be there to answer questions, so I do it with him. So, another thing that we really like about it is that it's conversational. When I read this aloud to him because that's what he prefers, it's like I'm having a conversation with him about math, and I love that. He seems to just latch onto that and get it more easily because it's like we're talking to each other. So, I love the conversational tone of it. You're not going to have a teacher's guide because, again, this is something you could read to your children or you could hand it to them and let them read. So, there is no teacher's guide. Um, another thing you need to know is that by the time they finish Volume 7, they're ready for college. They could actually start a pre-calculus class and they're ready to go take their entrance classes to college. And that's amazing. So this just covers everything. This is something that we can stick with. We like it, it's working, and we can stick with it. One of the other things I really like about it, and it's written down in here, when you purchase the book, they're gonna give you a code that you can use, and you're able to go in and print off extra worksheets. So let's say you have more than one child using it, or your child totally bombs the worksheet, and you want them to do it again. You can go and print those off using that code, um, you can also print off an extra page, just like a practice page. I think they call it like worksheet B or whatever. And so that way, if there's something your child's just kind of struggling with and they need a little more practice, you do get that code that you can use and you can go print things off. So I really love that about it. Let me make sure before I tell you anything else. Okay, also in the back are all of your answers. So, if you want to, you could remove this. My son never went back there. He didn't, he didn't even think about it. He knew the answers were back there because he'd say, can you check this? And I'd turn to the back and I'd check it. But the answers are in the back. You could always remove that if you didn't want it. But um, they're back there for you to use. Also, if, you're, if you have very, very young kids, there is no telling time in here. There's no calendar work, days of the week, none of that. This goes straight into learning ways to make 10, it goes into addition facts, all that kind of stuff. So you're not gonna have that little fun stuff that you do with like that little bitty age group. That's not in here, okay? So let me show you kind of what it looks like. Now, he was kind of like, this is way too easy when we started because chapter one is just simply addition. It's taking pennies, so you are using pennies, but there's really no manipulatives that you need for this. Um, but it, this one really builds that foundation of knowing those facts and knowing them well. So you do move through it. Um, and let me show you, this is how simple the worksheet is. And then there's a 30 second test. And so this test is done orally and it says if your child can't answer these in 30 seconds, you need to keep practicing. So um, 
my son stresses out about time a little bit. So I went for correct answers. Like if he just knows it, I don't care if it takes him longer than 30 seconds. But I'm telling you, this is how simple this first book is, but it really builds a good foundation. So let me show you, let's get into like larger numbers. So, and we didn't do all of these. So this one was adding, sev adding several du double digit numbers. And so it's everything that you're gonna read in the examples and how to solve them. It shows you some really neat tricks. And then you have a worksheet. Now we didn't always do every one of the problems. I would pick the ones that I wanted him to you know, work on and if he answered them fine, we would move on. So I just wanted to show you how this is laid out. And you can actually do more than one lesson a day. If you have a child you're wanting to just like get caught up, you could do more than one lesson a day. Cause this is one lesson right here. This was just simple subtracting. And then he knows how to do this. So he only did two rows. I mean, it's not a big deal. And then towards the back, it did get into, um, like long division, multiplying two and three digit numbers, adding with decimal numbers, division with remainders, um, all those kind of things. And then uh, taking an average, mean, median, and mode, fluid ounces, measurement, just standard measurement. There are tests for the end of each of the um, chapters. So if this was all about US standard measurements. And so when you get through with that and you've done all your worksheets and all your lessons, you do have a review test. And then the end of the book has, <clears throat> excuse me, the end of the book has a final test where you're tested over everything in the book. So that's a part of this. So this first volume actually has 49 actual lessons. And then, like I said, you have those chapter tests and the final test to work in there. So this one took us a little bit longer, but just because it's a bigger book. And then we just finished this the other day. So now that he's finished with this, he's ready to move into pre-algebra. So book three is pre-algebra. So this one covers, um, this is volume two, and this one covered fractions and percents and decimals and positive and negative numbers. And I will say my least favorite thing to teach is fractions and decimals and percents, but we made it through. Um, my favorite was at the end with positive and negative numbers, but this was a great book. This one took us a little longer because sometimes he struggles with the whole fraction thing, but it was a good book. It's the same way you've got your, I'll just show you. This was replacing words with math symbols. And so sometimes the lessons are quite lengthy, but they're conversational, so it's okay. And then that was the worksheet that we did with it. And then he had a chapter two review test. So we're looking forward to starting, well, I don't know if he's looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to starting book three. I'm looking forward to this math journey that we're on because I feel like we finally found something that works for my son. So if you're interested in Learn Math Fast, definitely go check out their website. You can, like I said, you can buy these on Amazon. We really enjoy these. And so this is gonna be our pick for next year and hopefully for years to come. So don't forget to go watch that playlist and see what the other moms are choosing for math for the next school year. If you have any questions about homeschool math, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you're using for math and how it works for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching.